Um, as you can see, I'm in a traditional Japanese guest house, a ryokan, and I would really love to show you around the Takaragawa Onsen ryokan, and just my impression, the room, the food, the onsen, kind of everything. So, nice to have you here. So actually, I was already in the room when we when I said hi to you, but I just think it looks cool. So this is the corner room of the Takaragawa Onsen. Um, and the really nice thing why we chose to stay at the Takaragawa Onsen is they speak English. They are even able to be booked on booking and other places like that. And yeah, well, their onsen is mixed. I will explain that later to you. So basically what you see around here now, I think it's really cool. I love the windows because you can literally slide them in every direction. <laughs> I, I've already played around with the windows for probably 10 minutes now just to decide where do I want to have light and where do I want to have like those beautiful blends. And yeah, so as you can see, we have a really nice view on the river and on this bridge and up there you have like traditional Japanese buildings. It really looks like as if it would be from a movie. And yeah, so the corner room is actually one of the biggest, if not the biggest room that they have. And I think it's seriously worth it because you just get a way better experience how it would be living in a traditional Japanese house. So as you can see, we have like a living room part and a second one. Later, we want to build our beds. We're not entirely sure if we can manage to do, but we'll try our best. And then we have like one entry room. And actually we first thought, where's the toilet? And then we found it. It slides to the side. And while well, the toilet is nothing special, but it's hidden. It's very well hidden. <laughs> so yeah, so much for the room. I'm gonna show you around the grounds of the Ryukan now. This is actually our private dining room. We have like prepared dinner already. And it's like everyone has their private space. This is the breakfast room, um, it's buffet, like in the evening you get it um, at the restaurant, but in the morning it's a buffet style. Uh, it has traditional Japanese breakfast, but as you can see, you also got some Western X, um, items. There's like a lot of fish obviously, but also like sausages and milk, and you have bread and a toaster. So there should be something for everyone. And if you're early enough, you have a beautiful view again of the river in the morning. It's unfortunately raining, but still, I really like it. <laughs> so that's the beautiful outside area. As I said, it was raining cats and dogs, but we're gonna leave today, so I don't have any choice to wait. So let's see. So this is the suspension bridge over the river that you can basically see from anywhere from the restaurant, from your room, and of course from the beautiful onsens, the rotemburus that, that are outside onsens. So let's turn around. And that's like the beautiful old style house. Like over there, that's where our room is. You can see the open windows. And yeah, so I think it's a really beautiful scenery and you could imagine how this looks in the different seasons, like in spring and in autumn when all the colors come up. What I really also like is that the Takaragawa onsens come with four different rotemburus. A rotemburu is an outside hot spring made of natural heated water. Um, three of their um, rotemburus are mixed gender. One is only for female and it's in a secluded area, so the man can't see the women's bathing. Um, and yeah, let's see how close we can actually go to it because they don't allow filming or photography uh, for obvious reasons at the Rotemburus because yeah, well, people are naked there and you don't want to be disturbing their environment, their decency. So let's see how far close we can get without uh, seeing any naked bodies. <laughs> yeah, so that's a little bit of it actually. You can see that's one of the three mixed ones. And yeah, let's see, I'll stop the video and see if I can take another one closer. Well, that's actually the good thing when it's raining No, and it's breakfast time, no one is outside. So I can show you the second Rotember, which is at the other side of the river. Kind of the area is covered and overboard. And then there's a third one over here. 
they are all really big for rotambers. If you have seen some in Japan, you know they're normally maybe like three meters, uh, three meters, or three multiplied by four. But those ones are really gigantic. That's actually behind there. It's like the secluded uh, women area. So let's see if we can walk a little bit further. Oh gosh, I'm so happy no one's around, so no one's disturbed by me taking pictures and a video for you. It is such a beautiful setting, even though it's raining. Imagine if there would be sun as well. So very, very beautiful. So third perspective. Guys, you don't know how much I like you. It's actually pretty cold and with the rain, my yukara is getting wet. But I want you to have the best view of this beautiful place. So I went out. Even in the rain. <laughs> nah, seriously. It is just gorgeous. Like in the back again, you can see like the house. That's again where you're sleeping. And yeah. So here you can also see it has kind of a hidden area. And you see the steam coming up. So you know how awesome, warm this water is. And yeah, I really, really love staying here. I can just totally recommend it. Okay, let's finally see the women's area. I checked that there's no one in, so yeah, there you got a, a fourth. If you're a female, you got a fourth rotembo for yourself. And it's also with the river view, very beautiful as well. Hi! So now I'm in one of the hot baths around. You can hear the river flowing, I hope you can still hear me. Those are the towels they provide you with, so you can cover your modesty if you're a female. If you're a male, you can just get that teeny and tiny handkerchief, but yeah, very nice, so cute here. Take them before we leave in the morning. Look around, it's beautiful. So, that was my review of the Takaragawa Onsen and Ryokan, and as I mentioned it in between already, I really liked staying here. I think the perfect place if you want to see a ryokan but don't speak Japanese and if you're there with your partner and you want to go to an onsen together, this is the place to go. It's beautiful, they take care of your special wishes like you know, seafood thing in Japan. Um, yeah, they took care of everything, I really liked it. And if you like this review, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course I have a blog and I'm on Instagram. Instagram is like my main platform, so I'd love to see you around there. Link to my blog is in the description. Um, yeah, hope to see you in one or the other places. Bye!